Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen the binary search recursive algorithm, and in this video, I am going to explain the time efficiency of binary search algorithm. As I have just told you, you'll be having the best case and the worst case. Yes, best case efficiency means if the key element is present at the beginning itself, that is first element itself is the key element then that is the best case efficiency of binary search algorithm in such condition we no need to do anything so first element itself is the key element then best case efficiency i can just directly write as t of n belongs to omega of 1 because we are not going to search only one iteration will do that is comparison of key element and the first element is it not so uh, the best case efficiency will be t of n belongs to omega of n now we'll see the worst case efficiency of this binary search algorithm worst case efficiency yes if key is not found or if the key element is present at the end of the array yes worst case efficiency that is before going for the worst case efficiency we have to just write the general form for worst case efficiency is it not what will be the general form for this so if only one element is present as usual if n is equals to 1 then only one iteration if n is greater than 1 that is otherwise what we have to do how we will search in this one we are not going to search in both the parts is it not so we are we are going to search in only one part of the array because key element and mid element will compare if key element is less than mid element we'll search only in the left part if key element is greater than the mid element then we'll search only in the right part so only half of the array we are searching we are not searching the entire array in binary search is it not so i'll just take only t of n by 2 because we are going to search in only one part of the array and how many elements we are searching we are not searching n number of elements here we are searching only one element so i'll just take t of n by 2 plus 1 in sorting algorithms we were taking t of n by 2 plus n you can just ask why i'm not taking n here there we are sorting all the elements that is all n elements we are sorting but here we are searching for only one key element so i'm taking it as one t of n by 2 plus 1 so this is the general form for binary search now by taking this general form we'll see what is the time complexity of this yes i'll just take t of n is equals to t of n by 2 plus 1 as usual replace n by n by 2 yes so here which is the function this is the function and this is the constant so whenever i'll get this function then i have to just replace this with the entire thing yes so here t of n by 2 by 2 plus 1 this is the whole function for this i have replaced with this one and a1 is the constant this i can just write as t of n by 2 square yes plus 2 likewise again t of n replace n by n by 2 n by 2 by 2 square that is i can just write it as n divided by 2 cube plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 next t of n 2 cube plus 3 i can just write and then replace n by n by 2 t of n by 2 that is 2 power 4 plus 4 if i keep on write like this then what i'll get t of n divided by 2 power i is yes, 2 power i plus i already here n is there so i am not taking n instead of n i am taking i that's it okay t of n by 2 power i plus i because this is 1 2 
थ्री फोर इट इज लाइक दैट इट इज कमिंग हिवन योर ऑल्सो यू कैन जस्ट सी वन टू थ्री फोर अंटिल एन आई एल गेट सो लाइक वाइज आई एल जस्ट गेट सो आई कैन जस्ट राइट इट एज टी ऑफ एन बाय टू पवर आई प्लस आई सो एज वी ऑल नो हियर वॉट इज द इनिशियल कंडीशन टी ऑफ वन If n is equals to one, then it is one. So I have to just solve this to get one here. If I want to get one here, means I have to replace two power i by n. Is it not n by n? That is t of one I'll get. So two power i is equals to n I can take. This is fine, but what about for i? So I have to solve for i. If you take log on both the sides, log. 2 power i is equals to log n. So this one log 2 2 base 2 log n 2 base 2. This one I can according to the logarithm formula I can just write it as i log 2 2 base 2 is equals to log n 2 base 2. Log 2 2 base 2 is 1 as you all know. So I can just write it as i is equals to log n 2 base 2. So we have solved for both two power i and i, is it not? So I can just replace this now. T of n divided by n because I have I have written two power i is equals to n plus log n to base two. So this one T of one plus log n to base two. As we all know from the initial condition. n is equals to one means t of one that is one, so I can just write this as one t of one as one is it not? So the answer is log n to base two. So this is the worst case efficiency what we are doing. So I can just write it as t of n belongs to big O of log n to base two. This is the worst case efficiency of binary search. algorithm yes so this is how we'll just find out the time efficiency okay thank you